Hey YouTube, so tomorrow is my birthday. I'm gonna be 25 and to celebrate, me and my friends are gonna go see The Great Gatsby and then go to some speakeasies and we're gonna do it all 20 style. So today I'm gonna to do a look for you that is flapper inspired and I hope you like it. I am, uh, I've already done my foundation. I'm wearing Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in uh, 5.25 and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on my hair makeup. So I'm gonna take this uh, Maybelline, it's Maybelline, right? Yeah. The color tattoo eyeshadow in good god what is this called i think it's pomegranate punk it's a sort of red brown it's really nice these are great budget eyeshadows now i'm just going to use my finger and i'm going to put it on my lid now the thing to remember about the 1920s is that it was really kind of the first time that makeup was available to the masses, like sold in stores outwards. So obviously women went nuts and they wanted lots of bold makeup. So everything was really done. The face, the brows, the eyes, the lips, the cheeks, everything. Now I'm gonna try to update it a little bit for today's society because I don't wanna go out looking like a clown. Um, and I'm also not going to make my brows like that pencil thin shape that was really in then, but we're gonna have some fun anyway. So we're going to do some layering, and next I'm going to use this MAC eyeshadow. It's called Club in Satin Finish. These are really nice. They're, um, what's nice about this is that it's sort of a green-brown iridescent finish, like you can see with the light that it looks different. Um, and just using my finger, I'm going to apply that just on the lid. Next I'm going to take Benefit's Highbrow, and I'm going to line my waterline and highlight just under my eyebrow. Next, I'm going to take the Clinique uh, Quick Liner for Eyes Intense in Intense Ebony. This is a great eyeliner. And I'm going to eyeline, and I'm going to eyeline. I'm going to line my upper lash line, and then I'm going to bring it in just a little bit under to my bottom lash line. Next, I'm going to take this smudgy guy and smudge it all out. Next, using the Shiseido Eyelash Curler, I'm going to curl my lashes, and then I'm going to use Benefit's Bare Real Mascara. You could do false lashes with this look, but I don't really feel like it. Top and bottom lashes. You can go pretty heavy on the mascara if you like. For lips, I'm gonna take my highbrow again and I'm just gonna put it right here. The 20s were all about a dramatic Cupid's bow, so you're gonna to wanna to highlight it. I prefer to use a matte product for that. Because it just stays on longer. Next, I'm gonna take Chanel Lipstick Rouge Allure in Rouge Noir. And just taking the tip of my finger like this onto the bullet and pressing it into my lips. The 20s were all about a bold, vampy lip. Next, I'm going to take the Chanel Precision Lip Definer in Rouge Noir, same color. You can use any kind of vampy red for this. And I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to pay attention to the Cupid's bow. 
this part right here. You want that really defined. And I'm going to fill it in too. Next, using a lip brush, I'm going to apply the lipstick once again. If you're going to do a strong lip, I highly suggest that you exfoliate before doing that. So I used a lip scrub, but honestly, a toothbrush with some Vaseline will do. Next, I'm going to blot. Now this is the fun part. I'm just going to apply another coat of this straight from the bullet. Now I'm particularly much fancy looking like a vampire, at least not tonight, so I'm actually going to use my lipstick as a cream blush so that the look is pulled together. Next, I'm going to use Laura Mercier's uh, Press Mineral Power in Tender Rose and just powder my T-zone. And I'm going to use the included sponge. Now I'm going to do my brows using the Chanel Sculpting Eyebrow Pencil. Just going to brush it down so I can see where the gaps are that I need to fill in. And I'll do that. Assuming I can ever get this cap open. Aha! And that's the finished look. Hope you like it and happy birthday to me.